See, I don't know if it's the white noise that I keep hearing. Oh, I heard that too. To the right. Oh, right there. Yep. Over there now. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel for another video. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It is officially January 1st, 2020. We made it. Hell yeah. I want to thank every one of you for subscribing and giving me love and the support that you guys have since uh, I started this channel back in June. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers now. I can't wait till I hit it. So I appreciate every one of you. Picking up my boy Ryan again today, and we're gonna head north for about an hour in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and there's this place called Glenbula Cemetery. Now this place at one point was supposedly the third most haunted cemetery in the world. I don't know how true that is. Uh, holy and I almost missed my turn. <laughs> Sorry, see, yeah, don't film while you're driving, guys. We're gonna uh, go to the cemetery. Apparently, there was a, a caretaker or some man that hung himself from a tree there a long time ago, got decapitated, and ever since he's been haunting it. And there's supposed to be some other stuff that happens there apparitions and crazy stuff that happens at the cemetery. So, we're gonna go check it out for ourselves. Wait a minute, did I just take a wrong turn? So we're gonna go there and see if we can capture anything on film. We're just gonna do a walk around. We can't go there at night, unfortunately, because once again, this place, they don't allow people there at nighttime, so we're gonna go there during the day. But I wanted to do a video at this place for a long time because it's in books, it's online, you can check it out. It's supposed to be super crazy. It's kind of offset in its own place. It's like in the woods, and you kind of have to go through this little subdivision to get there, so it's like a one way in and a one way out sort of deal. So we're gonna go check it out. Make sure if you haven't subscribed, subscribe down below so you guys can catch all my videos that I'm gonna be releasing in the future and we're gonna see you in the next clip. Cemetery. Me and my boy Ryan, he's holding the camera right now. The story behind this place is uh, there's an apparition of a man who hung himself in a tree. He got decapitated when he did it. He apparently haunts this place as well as many other apparitions have been seen in the cemetery. Now it's been ranked, apparently. This is the third most haunted cemetery in the world. I don't know how true that is. It's just something that I looked up. And this is kind of way back in the woods. We had to drive like three miles to get in here. You'll see that in the footage. We had to go through windy, turny roads. And this place is just right in the middle of nowhere, basically. There is nobody around us right now. So they shut down at five. We got to leave here at five, but it's getting dark enough to where we can explore it a little bit. We're going to walk around and see if we can capture anything. Hopefully we get something on film. I got an action camera on a tripod that's constantly recording over there that I'll show in the video. And that's just going to be our eyes over here on this part. And we're going to walk around here and see what we can capture. So basically, that's it. Let's go walk around and see what we can capture on film. Is there anybody that wants to communicate, you can come up to the speaker, this device in my hand, and you can talk through the white noise of this. You can tell me what your name is. Watch this stuff here. It's, it's like all ice. It got way quiet down here. You realize that? Uh huh. And the wind, well, it's up there, it's a little more windy. Yeah. Just walk this way. Any spirits want to communicate, you can do so through the spirit box. You can tell me what your name is. We're not here to mean no harm. We just want to communicate and talk. 
Can you tell me what your name is? I'm hoping on the possibility that I do get a voice through here, because if I do, it's going to be pretty awesome. Okay, yeah, this goes all the way down here. You know, old man, that one is. That was pretty old. Oh, look at the three. They look identical. Right Eighteen ninety. Now the oldest uh, headstone that we've seen in here is like seventeen fifty or something like that. I uh, you gotta imagine these ones are pretty. These are pretty old. Well, we seen one when we came here during the summer. It was like 1700. Can you, or something. can you read these ones or no? So you can clean it off. Yep, we're gonna get something on there. Out of respect, I'm not gonna zoom in. Yeah, it's. You can't see? No, it's broken off, it looks like. Yeah. That, what was that? Did you hear that? You didn't say anything? I just heard a girl voice. Like someone said something from over there. No, uh, I didn't hear anything. I did. I heard a girl. I heard a girl boy. Let's walk back that way then. I didn't hear anything. Let's, let's walk this way. Do you have the audio on the tripod too? Yeah, but that's not going to be your ears from here. Well, I have my hood on, so let me. I don't have the best hearing. Let's see what's going on. Why don't we go back the other way then? Let's circle it. First. No, that's fine. Yeah, you're right. All right. Any spirits want to communicate, you can communicate through the spirit box right here is what this is called. You can use the white noise and talk through this. Is there somebody in the cemetery that took their own life? Tell me what your name is. I'm like struggling to climb up here. Nothing on the spirit box. Nothing. This would be the place for it. K2. Light stationary green, so there's nothing coming on on that either. But again, we may not catch, catch everything that we're doing right now. Pay attention to the surroundings around us, guys. This, I mean, you never know what can be caught on video, so that's what's cool about it. Wow, these are really old. Like, there's like cement posts with hooks in them. Must have been chains there at one point. I'll get it up too, you should show that. Yes, it's weird. Do you want to communicate with us? You can do so on a spirit box. We're not here in disrespect, we don't mean to harm anybody, we just want to record you. No pun intended. See, I don't know if it's the white noise. I keep hearing things. I heard that too. To the right. Not right there. Yep. Over there now. It's like... Did you hear that? Yeah, what was it? Those are cars, but no, it's like... Cows, maybe? I don't know. It was a higher pitch. Man, there's so much more in here, too. Let's try something with this. Film this. If you're near us, you can step close to this meter, and you can make the lights blink. Can you make these lights flash on this meter for us? Can you do that for me, please? Can you make it flash to green or yellow? Hold on. All I need to see is a blinking light. It's one blinking 
like, you know, I'll mow your hair. Spear box one more time. Can you talk to us? Are you able to say anything? Come close to the speaker and you can tell us if you want us to leave or not. This is my friend Ryan. Can you say his name for me? You know my name? Literally getting nothing on both the K2 and the Spirit Box, which is for this place. I would expect it to see and hear okay. more. Sound like some interference. Can you tell me what your name is? What's your name? Is there anybody here with us right now? Please let us know. We come in peace. Speak through us. We are here in peace. Please let me know if there's anybody here. Just say something and let us know you're here. Who is here with us tonight? My name is Justin. Can you say hello? Can you tell me my name? You heard a voice earlier. Who is here with us right now? I hear you trying to come through. Are you trying to come through right now? Can you tell us what your name is? Who is with us right now? Is there anybody here with us right now? You can come close to this meter in my hand, and you make a light up. You can talk through the spirit box, and you can tell us if you want us to leave or not. Or you can tell us your name. I keep hearing that. That's, that's, uh, uh, I don't think we're going to get anything here. I mean, really, yeah. All right, guys, so before we leave, we're going to check out this little area real quick. It's got, like, a fence around it. There's two headstones. Actually, there's more than two. There's, like, three or four. But there's two creepy ones that just kind of look offset from the rest of the cemetery. Now, we don't know if these have any significance to what's said that's to be in here. So we're just going to come over here real quick, see if we can get anything on the K2 meter. Check this one out right here. I've never even seen anything like that. I don't even want to comment on the name that's on there because a lot of people will joke about it. So maybe we shouldn't sh show that. Yeah, no. Yeah. We're going to keep the names away. Does anybody want to communicate? Can you walk towards this device in my hand? You can make it light up. If you, you can touch it, it's not going to hurt you. Yeah, see, I don't know these two, like, that are right at the bottom. Those are really old. around it this is where i fell be careful because this is i busted my shit right there and i don't there's nothing underneath you what does it feel like concrete it's, yeah it's all concrete nothing yeah i'm not getting anything no i don't feel anything either what's back they have a lot back here holy yeah there's some little nubs back here i'm gonna light it up so slippery down here. Whoa. Does anybody want to communicate? You can walk towards this meter. Make it blink. Make it blink if you want us to leave. Are you upset that we're here? You want us to be here? Alright, we can cut it. Yeah. Yep. 
All right, guys, Ryan and I, we walked around this whole cemetery. We had the spirit box out. We had the K2 meter out. We were asking questions. We didn't get any activity through either one of those, but you never know. Let us know if you guys heard anything that we didn't. Also, the sun's going down. We're going to have to get out of here. It's getting really dark outside, but you never know what we caught. I do have another camera that was set up in the back on a hill that was overlooking this whole cemetery. Maybe you saw something on that. I'm going to scroll through that. I'll put it up on there. Maybe you guys will see something. But uh, for now, I mean, I can't tell you if this place is legitimately like haunted like they say it is. I mean, it's written in books. You can look online and it'll tell you this place is supposed to be really haunted. Maybe because we're not here at 3 a.m. in the morning. But either way, I almost fell. Um, once again, guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe below. Hit that notification button so you guys are updated on all my future videos that I drop. And I'm going to see you in the next video.